Hey wonderful people, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. What's happening? Hope you are in good health and you're doing awesome. So today I want to do a review from one of my brother's bottles. He lent me some of these bottles and I think I got um, perhaps this is the last one because uh, I don't have that many left. But I do have a lot of samples and a lot of rasasis, actually not a lot, quite a few rasasis and a few other fragrances to review. So you'll see that in upcoming days. But I want to do another episode. Um, but I think I will do it in a separate episode. But I just want to talk about this one first, the uh, Lanui Delom. Just a heads up, perhaps I'll do, I think I'll do a separate episode. Um, because this 2016 version, I don't think many people did uh, particularly year-wise because Lanui does have year batch variations. So I want to talk about 2016. It's incredibly good. And I did hear good rumors about it that it's better than the older formulation. It's back with uh, better performance and everything. I think... Uh, some of the rumors are true, but I will do a separate episode on that one. So let's look at Ferrari house today very quickly. It's leather essence. Okay, you guys know I love house of Ferrari just like Chad I think also deserve a Ferrari official, uh, you know, like a Sponsorship or something. I don't mind a Ferrari car. I want to drive around, you know casually in Bangladesh traffic <laughs> Just kidding. So this uh, you have seen I have done a lot of Ferrari fragrance reviews Womo uh, Man in red you name it I have it like 11 this line I did essence line did quite a few but I did not do a lot of reviews like the uh, cedar one vetiver one silver plenty of them I didn't review so if I get I review you know that is like that simple you know so <laughs> this is Ferrari it has beautiful brown box it has nice sort of stitching 100 ml EDT this used to be very very expensive for retail now they are very inexpensive you can score them for 30 35 dollars that cheap Okay, any of the Ferraris, you know, like Bright and Rolly being my favorite. Let's see where this stands. The back, Ferrari sticker, uh, the quality assurance. Uh, there you go, Ferrari up top with a silver chromish sort of background. Bottom is your batch code, and these are made in Italy. Yeah, these are made in Italy. And uh, yep, official licensed product from House of Ferrari. So Ferrari used to do a lot of craft fragrances in the early days. Their fragrances used to be extremely generic, extremely cheap, and not just the price tag, the quality was also, okay. I had some uh, some of these older Ferraris, I gave them as a gift. People thought, you know, like, what am I doing, you know, giving away my Ferrari fragrances. But those people who are basic in the game, you know, new in the game, they appreciate it, you know, I gave them like a full bottles. So here's the bottle, extremely nice looking bottle. I do not really like the whole thing covering, like a leather, but this is sort of like a suede leather sort of feel. There's nice stitching here, here, Ferrari, uh, leather essence it has nice sort of a leather wrapping on the cap. It's Ferrari logo up there very heavy metallic cap Bottom is like this just like Ferrari Womo same bottle that uh, Borrowed and check check out the juice color. Have you seen a darker juice than this? Perhaps you did black Afghano and Shergi, you know, but this juice is extremely dark extremely sexy reminds me sort of a uh, This one. I'm sorry about the dust this fan de fendi assoluto if you see the juice color they're kind of the same uh darkness level okay just giving you some visual uh explanation or examples so i really like i mean the bottle wise this bottle is just gorgeous heavy bottle and the stitching ends here the cap looks like supposed to be uh drive uh, shift the gear shift knob of it i think it looks really nice the horse very high quality okay juice uh and the sprayer is very very good as well so this fragrance uh, let me spray and let's talk about it okay they i have read a lot of explanation on this one a lot of comments from people i really like the smell of it as well let's see sprayer is really excellent on this okay it does shoot out a lot of juice let that settle down and i want to talk about it so first of all this fragrance here right here many people seem to love it okay as this settles down let me give you some idea many people if you go for Agantica, you'll see the love bar is a lot more than the hate bar many people like this smell a lot because it's affordable nice upper class leather scent it's not as loud as tuscan leather sort of leather or maybe a uh, memo house uh, i don't i never tried anything from it but i heard their leather are up class and there are a lot of other leather like ch man Privé, designer side <clears throat> excuse me they have fahrenheit uh, if, if from top of my head, Durham Intense, Durham Parfum, they have leather in them. So yeah, leather is a very uh, well-known note. A lot of people love leather-based fragrances, but some people are not biggest fan of it, right? Because leather can be overpowering. 
So in this fragrance, what I really believe, even though the name is Leather Essence, it's not the sole player. It has a lot more other thing going on. And if you did like Ferrari's Womo, but you thought it's kind of like casual, sort of like a Fahrenheit clone, light, this fragrance is a little bit better than that. What I get from the smell is, it's gorgeous little opening. It has beautiful, man, this is so rich. You know, the opening is so rich. I think my good friend Carlos Colom, he loves this fragrance. And many other people in the group, they said they absolutely treasured this. And I can tell you for good reasons. First of all, this is a unisex fragrance to my nose. The price was is good. I don't know if it comes in any bottle sizes, but I only see 100 ml. Do not pay retail on these fragrances. I mean, I wouldn't, you know, $70, $80, I wouldn't do it. But if you get it for $30, $35, excellent, excellent pricing. What I really get from this in the opening, it has like fresh sort of opening. I think it's a bergamot kind of opening with a lot of cinnamon. So I detect the cinnamon even before the leather or any other fruits, okay? Perhaps it has a little bit of feel, you know, I get kind of like a leathery, sort of like a rugged, like a semi-rugged, not really fully rugged. It's not like a rough and tough, like CHM Preve goes like, oh, you know, like Bentley for many intense. It doesn't have quite that, you know, like animalic opening. So that's a good thing for many people. It's very uh, handsome sort of opening, okay? It's sweet. It's kind of like, I get mild uh, booziness from it. I think it's like sort of like cognac, but in a very... Uh, muted way this fragrance it's kind of like those fragrances like spicy you know think of uh azaro wanted by night it has the sort of a spicy sort of a opening dolce and gabbana one edp but this is sweet but not as sweet as those it's a spicy but not as spicy as those it's very mild leather cinnamon sweet bergamot sort of like a citrusy combo and it's kind of boozy too so all the things that you love in a fragrance you're gonna get it in this it just develops so nicely and you just do not get the leather right away okay it smells more fruity more boozy more sweet uh, than leather at first so i saw someone um, on fragrantica you know i love to borrow people's you know like comments and give it to you this is credit to that uh, person who wrote this review i forgot the name but he or she wrote this smells like those uh, you know like uh, not goat what is the other one it's like sheep sheep leather okay Hand, hand gloves you know like you use the high class leather hand gloves for driving when you buy them at first brand new the smell that you get from those leather gloves the soft leather gloves this is this is that leather they are referring to some people i saw describe it as the brand new ferrari it's supposed to imitate uh, that sort of leather like a napa leather or whatever high class leather handcrafted seats interior leather leather designing that's what they're supposed to capture in this fragrance i think i saw the perfumer talking about it it's supposed to smell like a fresh brand new ferrari interior i haven't been into one uh, because um, i haven't got the chance yeah <laughs> i'm not sad you know i whatever i get in life i said thank god you know but this actually does smell very premium i have been into some brand new cars definitely it does smell like that brand new leather seat that you smell it smells really nice it's also someone said it, it smells like a beautiful uh, Chanel or uh, not Chanel what is the other designer bag like you know like uh, I'm not into designer handbags because I do not carry any but you know if you know like designer handbags brand new coach or something moment you open a brand new uh, leather bag or something that ladies carry it does smell like that as well I really love the cinnamon in this it's just lovely imagine a cinnamon stick you just put it in some sort of a cognac or some boozy whiskey and it's sweet it's, it's it's getting sweet it's getting more flavorful it's getting that aroma from cinnamon and then you you, you take the drink you just pour it on a, some leather jacket or leather gloves that's that's the smell that you get from it it's not uh, like a it doesn't give me the feeling it's going to be a drunk person <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a very bad be a very bad portrayal of a drunk person but they're not always like that drunk but it's more like yeah you know like a sweet sort of a, you know uh drunk thing i don't know what's the term i'm looking for you are kind of a, uh, you know like what's the word i forgot anyway you you get like buzz you know you just like you know slight sort of buzz you know just uh slightly hold on i have to find the word yeah i had to take uh, help of google i was talking we, we, we were like looking for the word called tips you know like there's a channel called tipsy bartender i really love that channel on youtube so you feel like a little bit tipsy it's so nice when you can find the words 
correct word to describe a fragrance this fragrance means like you are a little bit tipsy you know like at that sweet stage of yours you just had a couple of drinks and you just like you know on a nice sort of a high class uh, did someone fall late night two o'clock someone fell from fifth floor not a good good sign just kidding someone threw something out of the building anyway so this smells like slight bit of tipsy uh, fragrance and that you are in a very high class uh, hotel like five five star hotel it's you know the big balcony huge uh, doors big glass areas you know like proper marbles uh, floors and they have like big chandeliers you know like very posh sort of hotel people wearing overcoat they're wearing like from outside you know it's cold weather just coming out of the heavy overcoat i can get that sort of feel from this is very posh subtle uh this fragrance doesn't jump out of your skin this is one thing i will just say the weakness if you have to ask me this fragrance performance is very muted uh, people get good longevity i get close to my skin like four to five hours in our condition but i think overseas it lasts like six to seven hours okay but uh should it stop you from buying this fragrance i don't think so if you're looking for a high class leather fragrance that smells really posh you know it has a kind of a let me see if i have it you know if you like leather blend this is much more louder if you like loud fragrance i would suggest you go for leather blend okay but in the similar vein that has fruitiness that has amberiness that has sweet uh, leather posh leather this one also has it so it's sort of like a younger brother of that right and for the price range excellent juice okay so if you're looking to wear something all year round you can wear this all year round cold weather it's nice it will last two three hours more summer's time if you stay in the ac environment it's not too sweet or something you can wear it but if you're looking for projection if you're looking to get compliments perhaps people will miss the fragrance if they pass you by they may not get a whiff, whiff at your fragrance that's the one thing i think it could be a downside but women would love wearing this it's very nice the leather feel it's really beautiful i almost get like a gasoline sort of fahrenheit feel from it as well because it has a umo element in it very umo i think it all in all it's a great fragrance the cinnamon just gives it a beautiful sort of sweet uh spicy kick okay that i really love and the suede leather that you get you get actually this kind of smell with this kind of juice but to make this perfection it would be a masterpiece if this had like strong presence like mahogany woods or even if you say bentley for man intense if you had this kind of performance in this no one could touch this fragrance it would even go as much as good as tuscan leather that is my humble opinion so but ferrari 30 dollars you if you complain you are big uh -huh. you know like the baby says in uh that robert De Niro film never mind you you know what i'm talking about right so you get you get what you pay you know like you get what you pay for you pay and that's what you get you know late night you just kind of forgive me <laughs> so all in all just let me say this is a good bang for the buck excellent fragrance quality is very posh very smooth fragrance half class just the performance projection department it's kind of like this okay that's that's the only downfall lovely fragrance lovely lovely fragrance and i really like the smell for the smell i'll give this 10 that good it's one of my favorite fairy smells but the performance everything considered i'll give this 7 out of 10 just that performance sometimes have to be there you know bro you know bro these days you have to have the performance just in my book a little bit more performance a little bit more projection i would give this like eight to nine right but fair assessment seven out of ten is not bad at all nice fragrance check it out fairy leather essence i'll see you soon thanks for watching and thanks for being with the channel all these days bye bye